welcome back to my channel. If you know around here, my name is Alicia and welcome to day five of Bakemas. Today we are making a chocolate orange loaf cake. Chocolate orange just screams Christmas right. Everyone has to have one in their stocking on Christmas day. So I have preheated my oven to 160 degrees. That's for a fan assistant. And I've also got a loaf tin with a loaf liner here. So we're going to make the cake very similar to how we make um, any other sponge cake by creaming together the butter and sugars first. And I've got castor and light brown sugar here. And we're going to mix them together for a good few minutes on a medium to high speed. So next up is our eggs. I'm going to add two in one go and one in another go. I'm going to mix for a good few minutes in between each lot. Then I'm going to add in some vanilla. And some orange zest, one large orange. Then we're going to put in our flour, cocoa powder and baking powder. And fold that on a low speed until it's just come together. in our milk and again fold that on a low speed until it's just come together so I'm just going to finish mixing it by hand just to make sure I've got everything off the sides and the bottom and finally it's time to add the Terry's chocolate orange chunks so I've saved eight slices for decorating and then the rest I've just chopped into chunks. Add that to the mix and give it a fold through. Then we're going to pop this into our tin. Then we're going to bake this. This can take up to an hour to bake. I'm going to check it about the 45 minute mark by sticking a skewer in and it'll come out clean. The cake is done, it took 55 minutes in the end, so I'm going to leave that to cool completely in its tin and then we can decorate. The loaf cake is cool now, it smells super chocolate orangey so I'm dead excited to taste that. So next thing I'm going to do is make the ganache, so I've got 100 grams of dark chocolate in here and I'm going to pour 100 grams of double cream over it, or 100 ml. Then we're going to microwave them so it forms a ganache. It's going to take about a minute but you want to stir it every 20 seconds or so. Chocolate ganache is done so we're going to leave that to cool a little bit. I'm going to take this out of the wrapper. Ready? Oh, it smells so good. It's a bit wonky donkey, but oh well. Then once your chicken ash is cooled down, you can start spreading it on. So I'm just going to put a load of it in the middle. Now, if you want this to be even more chocolate orangey, you can melt a terrace chocolate orange instead of dark chocolate. And I'm just going to spread it out.
And then I'm gonna put some more zest of an orange on. Just like so, and that is the loaf cake complete. There's loads of different variations you can do with this. So like I said, if you want it super chocolate orangey, then you can do chocolate orange ganache. If you want it more orange flavour, you could make an orange syrup and soak that into the loaf cake before you top it with ganache. You can pack it with as much flavour as you like. But that's it. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I am going to do a taste test now. Taste test time. I cannot wait. So I'm going to get a bit with the cake and ganache. Oh no, dropped it. Mmm. Oh, that's delicious. Mmm. -mm. Oh, yummy. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you on day six. Thanks for watching. Bye.